This is 328 Clara Drive. This is the uh, mobile in need of work. So I'm going to do a little bit of a walkthrough here. This is the uh, room. I guess you would call it the entry room. It's uh, maybe a family room or a, di a living room type area. These walls are the typical mobile home, kind of the wallpaper type stuff. It's uh, That would probably need to come off, be replaced. Um, carpets, original carpets that were in the 91 model when it was new. There's some old uh, woodwork type stuff in here, cabinetry. That's all uh, particle board. The power is off here, so apologize for the dark room. This is the master um, bedroom. Those uh, closet doors or the sliders with mirrors, if you can tell or not from the video, but they've got, uh, they're broken down along the bottom. The glass is cracked. Uh, the doors look functional, but the glass is broke. It's coming around uh, towards the windows. And in here is a master bath. Again, I apologize, this is going to get a little dark. We have a toilet down here. There is double sinks, although they're covered. And there's a, uh, sorry, there's a good sized uh, bathtub and shower in there, and that's actually a, a, uh, up here see if we can get a little bit of light there we go that is actually a small garden tub um, and the uh, cellar has indicated that all the plumbing is, is in good shape okay coming out of the master bedroom again back into this front room that's uh, kind of open into the, a dining area here this is uh, coming in more into the kitchen this is sort of a little built-in uh, desk area. Uh, if it was me, I'd probably rip all this out on a remodel on the kitchen. There's an island here. Uh, again, cabinets. Most of these cabinets are intact, but they're, they've definitely seen better days. Got a little bit of uh, molding coming in uh, right up here. This house is... The electricity is off, so it's it's uh, quite cold. Uh, there's a skylight right here that's actually covered and sealed because it's broken. Um, so that's a something. And then the stove right here, uh, that whole hood and everything is non-functional. It hasn't worked for years, they said. And again, this is like a family room. It's uh, a front of the kitchen. Nothing real notable about that. Carpet's old. And, uh, coming down from that room, come down a hallway here. First place on our left is going to be a utility room. And it's got a washer dryer hookup. Uh, that door opens up to the back. However, um, there's no deck out there right now, so that would have to have a deck put in. Uh, the floor in this room does have a couple of soft spots. Um, I guess there was a, a leak at one point in uh, the washing machine, so it made some soft spots in the uh, particle board underlayment. Uh, okay, here we have another bedroom. This is about a this is about a ten I suppose about a ten by twelve room. Going here, I'm gonna try to open up and get a little bit more light in here. Okay. I don't see anything too bad in this room. I mean, carpet, and again, it's got this wallpaper stuff up. This wallpaper stuff's not uh, bad, it's not rotten, it's just ugly. Um, got another room here. This room hasn't been used for a lot of years. They had a child that lived in this room and um, something happened, I'm not sure, and so they really just stayed out of here. Got a hole behind the door. 
Um, this room is really cold. You can see there's mold on the ceiling here. I don't see any it was structurally bad, just this mold, and I think it's moisture. Um, these windows in this house are are metal metal framed windows, so they, uh, so that was the second bedroom we just went into. Again, we've got a bathroom right here. It's too dark to pick up the film. I'll try to get still shots of it, um, but it looks pretty good. It's a has a full. Uh, bath. It's a standard size bathtub with a shower. And this last bedroom, I'm going to just come over here and there's a curtains drawn. I'm going to open these up so I can get a little bit of light in here. Um, there we go. Okay. So this is uh, another bedroom. This bedroom is actually pretty good sized. I would say it is, well, it's, it's every bit of 12 by 14, um, this room is. There's a big hole right there in the drywall, and this room has a, also has a small walk-in closet right there. Now you can't probably see that too well, but it does have it. I didn't even know that was here, i never seen it before. And we got a little, at the end of the closet, end of the hall, there's a, again, another closet you can't see. So, that's uh, pretty much it for the house. The other, uh, the one room with the mold on the ceiling, that's the only one I see like that. Where it's covered, uh, that room's been closed a long time. Again, so, um, when he lived here, he didn't use the whole house. He tried to keep the electric bill down really low, so he had these tarp things up over the walls into this uh, kitchen area so he just used really the master bedroom the front room and the kitchen and he only heated that part of the house so that could contribute to it uh, this kitchen uh, i'd say all these cupboards i would probably pull all the cupboards counters all that stuff out okay and then uh next thing i'll go to the shed